So hi, and welcome to the Hardcore Hotline, your source for all things hardcore and only hardcore. So anyway, today we are talking to Seth Rogen from pop band Watashiwa. Go ahead and introduce yourself, Seth. Actually, Seth Roberts, but great to meet you. Um, great to be here hot on the on Hotline. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm the band Watashiwa. And we said that. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We did. Yeah. Yeah. That was said by us. Okay. So I know that you guys took a long hiatus. Why are you back? What could we have done to stop this? We started the band pretty young. So uh, we got to a place when we were a band for about 10 years because <laughs> we started when we were like in junior high, high school, young, pretty young. So very young. So young. We just were a little jaded for, for being young young adults so we needed to take a little break <laughs> Seth I, I do have one question because I've seen a lot of pictures on your social media how often are you mistaken for Scott Stapp from Creed and you can be honest with us my go-to karaoke song is actually <laughs> uh, with arms wide open <laughs> I cut the hair to try to clean up my look honestly I noticed that yeah I saw you and I was like wait that that's not Creed. That's just a normal <laughs> dad. Okay. In 2006, uh, Watashi Wa was then a band called Eager Seas. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> in 2006, we were called Eager Seas, but it was it was technically a different band. Mm, okay. It was like I started a new band, and then um, and then. You just got a little confused. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. 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 Because then you were lakes. So you were eager seas and then you were lakes. So lots of yeah. water there. Um, mm. This just isn't, it's just not adding up, Seth. I just, I don't understand why all the name changes and who you were hiding from, Seth. Um... Well, I wasn't, we weren't, it wasn't like we were hiding from anyone or anything. It was just, mm. um, just, you know, we, we were with Tashiwa. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We started this new project and then, you know, ba bands change their names sometimes. Sure, sure. Bands, they change their names all the time. Nothing going on or anything, just, you know. As I was putting things together, there were just a lot of things that I just didn't quite understand. And and I started to look at the name Eager Seas. Okay, it's an anagram for a race ages. What are you trying to tell us, Seth? Huh? Who, how did you hear? Let's change, we should, do you have another question? Different question? Or we could talk about some like something with the name. Uh, you know, how, there's a lot of, or not a lot, but there's a few other bands that popped up called Lakes. And so... Mm. Uh, other know. bands that were called Lakes. Yeah. So and it so, was it was a network of bands no. called Lakes. No, no, no. Was there a... <laughs> was there like a leader? Was there someone that you guys reported to who maybe is trying to find you today? Is that why you went back to Watashi Wa? Seth? I'm just no. asking questions. I don't have a yarn wall or anything in the break room, okay? I'm just asking questions, Seth Rogen. <laughs> this is, uh, this is a lot, but I don't know how, I think we should change, change the subject, maybe. You would love that, wouldn't you? You would. <laughs> okay, well, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We'll go on to another question. It really got to just where we wanted to be with, I wanted to do, you know, make Watashiwa music again. You are going to have a song on your album called X COVID X. Can you tell me a little bit about this song and why you think it's a straight edge anthem? <laughs> it is actually a hardcore song. A hardcore it is surprisingly edge. coming from a <laughs> pop band. I was a little, <laughs> I was a little surprised there, but go ahead. Tell me about um, this. Yeah, we, you know, I felt like a lot of people uh, have experienced 
something that you can feel a wide range of emotions for, you know, we can all agree worldwide. Uh, and I think the number one emotion we could agree on is some form of like pent up frustration in some way. And so the best way to kind of like articulate that I thought was like a hardcore song. And, <laughs> and then, and then Josh from Dogwood is on it. And he, uh, that he, um, he, he and I had some cool conversations and mm -hmm. just the idea of, you know, we just don't want to be in a place of like being divided anymore as people. We want to just be like come together yeah, and stop yeah. arguing. And mm -hmm. so like almost that frustration can be pointed towards like, we don't want to be divided anymore. We want to come together, you know, like um, which COVID no matter what, however you feel about it it was a very divisive time in the world just like whoa what's going on <laughs> like, yeah twitter definitely told us that huh you know i am actually looking forward to uh if you guys play that song live because your audience isn't going to know what to do um the camo short guys are going to be at the porta potties and they're going to hear it and they're going to be like oh no i was supposed to be breaking someone's nose right now so i am looking forward to that rush to the stage you know, again, I said that I had looked at your social media and I saw that you guys had little videos of your songs in which you are uh, doing something that I can I can only only decide as dancing. Um, who taught you those dance moves, as I'll call them? Well, I never had lessons. That's um... very apparent. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Did you, uh, no, I, I mean, it. have you ever watched a, a TikTok video? They're very easy to follow. Yeah. I like, I like more just free, just free flow of dancing. I like dancing, you know, I like music and I mm -hmm. feel like dancing is mm -hmm. a long, you know, there's a long history in, in our human existence of dance being connected to music. And so I like the freedom that's in it. Even if you look like a fool, you know, you, or, or even if, some might think you look like a fool majority I yeah I think, I think I look great so yeah well that is you know that's a very dad thing to say and I know <laughs> that you are a dad um so besides the um interesting dance moves that you have uh what is your best dadism, and how do you hope to evolve as a dad well I do say a lot of um uh play on word jokes what is the uh, best one that you have? I'm putting you on the spot immediately. We drive by this uh, cemetery a lot near our house. And mm. I, I say, people are dying to get in there. <laughs> Which is a very literal, you know, for... <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> but, okay. Uh, a play, but uh, maybe... Um, I'll think of a good one. I'll yeah, good. yeah, for sure, for sure. We'll be waiting with <laughs> bated breath for that one. Dying to get in there. Okay. Now, your new album comes out May something. Finish that sentence. Uh, May 20th. Our album comes out May 20th and on um, Tooth & Nail Records. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's called People Like People. People like people. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds, it just sounds like it, it's, it's, it's about networking, like a network of lakes. Wait a second. People like people, um, the idea is, is, uh, you know, people are similar to people and mm. people also like, you know, appreciate people, each other. So it's like double, double meaning. Okay, we will unpack that later. But with Watashi Wa now officially back, where do you hope to go from here? Will there be tours? Will there be shows? Will there be dance competitions? What is in the future for Watashi Wa or whatever you change your name to? I think we'll be, I think we'll just keep doing Watashi Wa forever. Mm. Um, <laughs> Okay. But yeah, we okay. do have some tours coming up, mm -hmm. and we're playing 
uh, we're playing a festival coming up uh, called in Alabama um, called Furnace Fest. Um, we'll be doing some touring with Emery and Norma Jean actually in like supporting their tour in August. Oh, that's actually really cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'd be really fun. But Dang, I, I wish it had been something really dumb that I could have made fun <laughs> of you about, but instead it's something cool. <laughs> well, fine. But like then. you said, what, like it'll probably be that kind of thing of like all everyone will be at the bathroom and then until we play COVID-19. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They'll be like, oh, finally, let's let's go, let's go back <laughs> yeah. here. And then, uh, and then we'll play like our next song and they'll be like, oh, it's it's still with Tashi <laughs> Right. They'll be putting their the Aspa cream on their knees and their lower back, and and then they'll hear X COVID X and they'll be like, oh my God, I gotta get out there. Um, and then you'll play your next song and and they won't they won't know what to do. So you know, I, I do have to give you kudos for confusing the hardcore community. They're very easy to confuse. All you need to do is is just use big words or, in your case, play a hardcore song. All right. Well, thank you so much, Seth Rogers from Watashi Wa. Uh, there were other bands that he was in, different names, but we won't delve into that too much right now. Uh, but they have a new album, uh, People Like People. Uh, out on May 20th on Tooth and Nail Records, and they desperately hope that you listen to it. And uh, call us with all of your complaints. We'll be here for sure. Bye-bye.